sets forth the word of deliverance and strength. God, deliverance and healing. Father, we thank you and praise you. Give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We certainly thank you and praise God. Jesus, back on this. Amen. 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 So Paul is saying, now, 
about that. <laughs> you know, sometimes you get students that are ahead of the class. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what word she's using is called apologetics. Uh, and, and apologetics simply means to defend your religion. Mm. Uh, in other words, defending the gospel. That's what Paul meant when he says, I'm set at the defense of the gospel. Uh, that that I'm, I'm ready, if you're not going to say this way, argue with you with the scriptures according to the word. And I'm not using argument in a bad way. Right. Uh, in other words, you can say contending for the faith that was once delivered. Because there's not a false doctrine out there. Uh, and people and people need to know the truth. Uh, so, so don't be afraid to give them the truth by which you're standing on. How you're living your life, be, be like a living epistle. Uh, be willing to defend your, the, the gospel of Christ of why you do what you do. Or don't do what they want you to do. Uh, why are you living in this life? Amen. Uh, look at that word, apologetics. Amen. Go ahead, my sister. So I, in the field that I work in, you deal with people every day. And uh -huh. you have to deal with people's attitudes, and you have to deal with, you know, their complaints. And they don't want you to talk back to them because now that you're confrontational. Right. And I used to shrink back and and I knew I was right. I used to shrink back and not say anything. Right. Because as soon as you say something, oh, I thought you were at church. You're not supposed to be arguing with me. That's the first thing they say. Right. Oh, I thought you was a minister. Or I thought you was saved. Right. And I told them, I said, yes. I said, but in the Bible, there are many examples in the Bible of people of God that, that confronted people, that stood up for themselves. I said, I'm not. I said, as far as you know, last time I looked, I did not have a woke up tattooed on my face. I'm not going to let you just walk over me. Right. I can do it in love, and I can do it with a, with, with a professional attitude. But yeah. I used to be scared to do that because the first thing they jump out with is, I thought you were safe. Right. You ain't supposed to be talking to me like this. And, 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 it's anyway, and it's sometimes it's other saints. Like, if, if they know they're right and you know they're wrong, and you tell them, well, no, I think you're wrong. Well, no, I've been in here, I've been on this way longer than you, and this is how it's supposed to go. And so, how am I supposed to argue with somebody that's been in this way 30 or 40 years compared to my little bit of time? And then it makes you shrink back and, and, and non-confrontational, but then in the end, it makes you weak. And then everybody starts running over you because they know you're not going to say nothing. Right. So wow. I just appreciate this because I just had to experience this like two days ago. Matter of fact, yesterday, I had to tell someone who I love with all my heart, no, you're wrong. This is how it goes. And even though there's no solution to our situation, personally, with the one that I'm going through, I know, I told my husband last night, I feel good because I stood up for what's right. I don't got to keep entertaining a, a conversation with you because you keep bringing up all these points trying to make your point right over mine. I already Amen. said what I said. What I said. Truth is truth, and it's over with. No, but you can't never take wrong and make it right. That's right. That's right. All right, Sister Higginbottom. We heard you. Now, now she is the essence of this Bible story. Yeah. You know, is that, is that, you know, stand up and fight. Mm -hmm. Amen? There's nothing wrong with that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen? And, and how do you do it? You do it respectfully. That's right. Uh, you do it in love. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, was, she reminded me. Uh, I, I, I was a minister, uh, and, and, and an elder, he was uh, uh, teaching, uh, the teachers meeting uh, for Sunday school. And he was going over the lesson. Going over the lesson. And I had just studied the lesson. And I listened to him and he had it wrong. He had it wrong. And, 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 and I, I looked at him as a mentor. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and you And I'm thinking, well, you know, uh, uh, well, 
Like you gave that example about the brother. You never took the bishop to me. Right. You know, they, no doubt they called me because they were saying you walked according to the flag. Yeah. Uh, but but it, it would have been needful for him to speak up. Right. Yeah. Uh, why? Not only uh, uh, why? Because the, the reputation of Christ is in his Right. It's bigger than you. Silence can be uh, construed as complacency. Right! Uh, when you don't say anything, they feel as though you. Give consent! <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's right. I think somebody said in Sunday school, that kind of stuck with me a little bit. They said, uh, if you don't correct the thing, it's just as guilty as telling the lie. It is. Mm. Who said that? Well, you tell them that the other side. Oh, you said that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm saying, you guys, every time somebody says something, you gotta go correct. I ain't saying that. But, you know, when 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 it's a, a meteor map, when it's waiting, yeah. right. uh, when it's necessary, right. uh, when it means something, Yeah. <laughs> 
You got to follow all the old objective because it's a thing. That's right. That's right. Amen? Amen. Uh, you got to love people. That's right. That's right. Everybody ain't going to agree on everything. We just got to agree on something. That's right. Amen? We have a point. got to agree on Jesus and what he did. Right! That's all we got to do. He was born of a virgin and he died on a cross and rose again. If you don't believe in any of that, you're in trouble. That's the truth.
put your hand and sock it. You say, hey, don't do that, you know. That's good. That's not good for you. But when they do it the next time, it's like, didn't I tell you not to do that? And then they do it the third time. You're like, hey, look, I had enough of you. And, and then you go about taking your business. It, it, you, your boldness begins to start asserting because you know, I have to get this message to you. I have to get this message to you. I'm tired of playing This is serious. And, and that's, that's, and that's what Paul was out to do. That's what Paul was out to do. He said enough is enough. Enough is enough. He told me to go to Galatians. Hey, if he didn't use the other gospel, then I would preach unto you. Let him be a curse. Then he said there's another time of emphasis. And that emphasis is that I have told you if it is. False doctrine, false scriptures, 
This is where we get that word apologetics from. Defending the gospel. Since God has given me power to defend this gospel. To pull down the negative thoughts or the, or the, the false ideas you have. As we say, God has given us that same power uh, to defend this gospel. To pull down strongholds or, or demonic thoughts that people may have against the scripture. Be ready to defend it. Do you feel? No, I was thinking that um, we shouldn't let material things bother us. You know, somebody might like, um, owe you some money or something like that. That's carnal. You shouldn't let that get into your spirit and cause you to hate and seek revenge. Right. You know, uh, because the devil will use material things. You know, somebody, uh, you know, hit your car. You know, they open the door and hit your car at the church and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, oh, Praise the Lord. Now, give me your assurance. I'm the principle. I'm the principle what he said. He said, don't let that bother you. But will it bother? Yes, it will. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you're human. Right. Huh? But then he said the opposite thing. He said, don't let it bother you to where it gets you to do evil. Right. Yeah. right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Where you don't forgive the individual. Right. Huh? Where you seek to revenge. Huh? When you start acting unseemly. Mm -hmm. huh? yes. Follow? Yes. People are going to offend you. Am I right? Yes. That's a part of life. Offenses must come. Yes. 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 Amen. Then it says, Woe unto him that preach. Better for him to have a millstone tied around his neck and cast into the sea. That's the scripture. Yes. Huh? Then to offend the beast. Yes. Uh, who is the least of my brother? You follow? Amen. Knowing that, then you try to not to offend people. Right? right. Uh, but but there gonna come a time when you do it intentionally or unintentionally. Am I right? So so when the individual says to you, you offended me, then the scripture should come into your mind that says, uh,
steps we go to us. decided to harass my daughter some more. Ah. And then we had to get the police involved. Yes, yes. That's, That's terrible. terrible. That's it's 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 it is. It is. We're human. Yeah, it happens. Am I right? Everything ain't going to be pretty. Everything ain't going to be roses. until we get to the other uh, side. Uh, you know, you know, uh, we can physically agree with me on this, that, that, that the Bible doesn't hide us in this. It does not. Huh? That's the only thing in the religion of Jesus. Yes, yes. Huh? The Lord didn't hide that. No, he did not. Look at that. He's starting strong. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. It's Jesus. Huh? Huh? And, and even, uh, what was, uh, uh, Judah, I think it was 
with no woman. I said, so when if God was the gracious little wife and she has a prophetic man for her, for her life, how would you be able to deceive her? Because you don't believe in women prophets, you don't believe in women pastors, but yet you be around you know this word. You know what I mean? But in his mind, this is God's word, and everybody will obey it. It's going to die. This is how he said it. But you don't have the right revelation of it. Seek the Lord. Yeah, seek the Lord. All right, be The verse that I hear, I have, I heard for I don't know how long. My husband preached this word, this verse to me for during these last what three years. Uh huh. So, verse six, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience <laughs> when your obedience is fulfilled. Amen. In other words. When all obedience is fulfilled, then God will fulfill all disobedience. Yeah, absolutely. He'll do it. But you've got to do you got to obey God first. You gotta walk with him. And you gotta walk with him. Yeah. And then God will avenge all the disobedience that was held against you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We believe that God. Amen. God should avenge you. Yes. He'll help you. He'll fight for you. Huh? Amen. He'll fight for you. Amen. Amen. You so like when you when you obey God's word, that obligates God to defend and stand up for you. Because he's a God of righteousness, truth, and judgment. Am I right? Um, so, so that obligates God. Amen. He'll help you. Decided one day he was gonna 
come at me and just disrespect, disrespectful. Huh? I respectfully handle it. Right? And I let it go. You're not doing this. No. That way it's going to do. Right? And I took care of it. Then I went to the general manager and I told her, before I get to you, I want you to know what I did. This is what I did and this is what I said. And I said to her, I said, now you know me. Right? And you know I'm very respectful. Right? And I do my job. She had to say, she said, Corey, you're the best employee I have. Thank she you. She said, and you know, you respect everybody. Thank you. You do everything I have. If anything went down, I know where it came from. Right. So now, now the, he does this now for somebody else now. She's always in the back office crying and boo-hooing at her. You better tell her, look, uh-uh, I'm not having this. We're not going to do this. If you stop it one time, he'll never do that again. Right. I stopped him when he first started. Right. And she said, nip that in the bud. I nip, nip it. it in the nip bud. It. We're not doing that. Somebody right. said nip it. Nip yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Treat your wife a certain way. You're like, well, my husband don't do that for me. You know, and, 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 and you can just be watching television and be putting wicked thoughts in your mind. You have to fight them as you watch the TV. Say, yeah, well, you know what? But I got a good husband. I got a good wife. You know, it, it, because if you don't fight those thoughts, they're gonna start piling up in your mind. You know, you, you it's a, it's a whole lot of maintenance that people have. To do. Amen. Well, you know, I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> 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 you know, there's, there's a lot of evil thoughts that come to our minds. Not that bombard our minds. Sure. Right? Yeah. Huh? Sexual thoughts. Yeah. Uh, 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 revengeful thoughts. Yeah, sure. uh, all kinds of thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? That come to our mind. And we got to fight that stuff off. Right. God has been three more minutes. with me, I tell him, You're, you already burnt your bridge. That's it. But it, the thing he's doing for me, he's letting me know that I'm doing something right, because he wouldn't be talking to me if he hadn't. That's true. So I'll get you to move from the steadfast. Amen. <laughs> All right, let's finish up reading. I've got a couple of minutes. Verse 7. Uh-huh. Do you look on things after the outward appearance? Now, Paul is saying, now, 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 you judge me. You look at all at me from the outward appearance. And they already said his physically appearance 
was was weak. Yeah. Huh? Some was wrong with Paul. Huh? Some was wrong with Paul. He had that fire in the flesh. Yeah. Huh? So he has some issues. Yeah. Huh? We got to be disqualified the anointing that was in his life. Right. You may have some issues. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. oh the Holy Ghost said, tell them they got some issues. Yeah. You got some issues. Because if you have somebody that keeps 
continue to do it, even the government ain't gonna be helping you. You know what I'm saying? If you've been in that situation three, four times, right. and then you keep expecting, because some people, they do it and they like, oh, I'm gonna do it anyway, because I got so-and-so, they gonna help me anyway. You know, then they start taking advantage of it. But help could be, let me send you to the shelter. The shelter might not help you. You know, if you, if that help kind of make you fall. Before you start shooting in your life. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Huh? And and putting sorrow of all sorrow, then you want to go commit suicide. That's yeah. right. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's right. Have a mouth. think very well if they're hungry. That's what I'm talking about. So if, they're words. if you feed yeah. them, uh, then they might listen to you. Right. They're not going to listen to you if they're hungry. Right. I'm, I'm drunk, and you chewing me out. Am I going to listen to what you say? Yeah. 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 You probably wouldn't let you stand it anyway. Uh, wait, 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 Yeah. Yeah. We, right. we, we got to think of people, how God sees them. Mm. When God looks at each one of us, he sees one of his precious children. And even the ones that are lost, until they die in their sins, they're one of his children. Absolutely. And he wants them. He wants them. And if we're looking at them the way he looks at them, we'll look at them in a whole nother way. God only sees the best in you. Right. Amen. Absolutely. If you can, if you can learn to love people the way He loves them. And, and I'm going to say this as well, because sometimes we quick to judge too, including myself. We don't know what a person's been through. Exactly. Right. Yeah, that's true. You know, we don't know what they've been through. They could be homeless. They could be on the street. You know what I mean? The, the circumstances and situations. You know, that happens. And maybe we would have responded differently to not allow ourselves to get into that situation. But something happened. Mm -hmm. Right? right? Mm -hmm. are, are we, the police, to come and investigate? No. Or are we like uh, the first responders? Let's see what we can do to help. Exactly. So, yeah. Can I just take a poll here, real quick? Uh oh. I've been homeless before. Anybody else? Uh -oh. See that? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's a good call. Oh, yeah. Well, they tell you that yeah. most of everybody is only a paycheck or two away from being. Come on here. <laughs> yeah. You can yeah. about two or three paychecks, you're going to find yourself in that's that's a situation. Right. That's it. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I was uh, having a nice job, whatever. You know, had a nice house, whatever. And I thought I was doing pretty good. And then uh, uh, his brother Fred, he said, uh, he called, he said, he said something about being poor. I said, I ain't poor. And he said, well, if, if you didn't, are you living from paycheck to paycheck? I said, well, yeah. Then he said, well, how much you got in the bank? I said, my little pieces of sense and change. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Then, then he just sat up. Yeah. See? It's a paycheck away. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. But no. 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 God is great. Yes, he is. All the time. All right. Here's the reason we go up. Verse 9. Uh -huh. That I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letters. But verse, but verse 9. Read that again. That I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letters. Uh huh. For his letters say they are weighty and powerful. Uh huh. But his bodily presence is weak. Yeah. And his speech contemptible. Now that's not what they were saying about Paul. Mm. That's what they were saying about him. One of the greatest apostles in the world. Mm. Uh, 
I'd say he's weak. He's contemptible. Hmm. Uh, read. Let such as and one think this, that such as we are in word by letters, when we are present, such will we also indeed when we are present. Now basically he was saying we're gonna close it out on that. He said, you know, y'all saying that uh, my words are waiting to you. So when I when I come to you, you don't straighten up. Huh? So I'm, I'm gonna be waiting when I get there. All right. <laughs> So basically, he said, I'm going to show out on him. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Now, he told me I'm going to show out on him. No. Uh, but, but stand up for Jesus. Yeah. 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 Amen. Huh? Stand up for Jesus. Amen. And then correct people when they when they, when they walk in the air. Amen. Do it in love. Do it in love. Thank you. Amen. All right. Come on, give God a praise. We certainly praise God and thank God for His goodness and 